This is Dabu7 with an earthquake update and a look ahead at a few things to expect here in the coming days. What we have is a swarm popping off up here in Alaska. See these quakes popping off around the magnitude 6 range. Out here on the far edge, we still have this region up here swarming. Not with big quakes, but it's still swarming. Got a lot of quakes there. And once again, it looks like the area here around the Virgin Islands has gone quiet. Now, there was a bigger quake in West Yellowstone yesterday. Looks like another one's popped up there. They track their own quakes in Yellowstone that don't show up on this feed all the time. If you want to look into that further. And the area through here, yesterday, two weeks, pr the two weeks prior leading up, to yesterday, the region right up through here saw 146 earthquakes. Now the area where the Cascadia runs in this Juan de Fuca plate connects to it right here has been quiet. That region all the way up in here to BC can let off some big quakes. As we've seen in the past, it's one I keep an eye on. I always watch the areas that go quiet for a long time because when they do that, it's like they're building up energy like down here in this pinch point of Chile we've seen in the past big seven pointer or so or a hit somewhere down here and continue to swarm and swarm and swarm it's what some of these big quakes and what some of these areas do they swarm and even though they don't stay very large they continue to swarm with smaller quakes and you can see here around new madrid yesterday they were in a different region tennessee's been seeing it missouri kentucky arkansas as you can see here it's not showing it on this map but texas Few day, past few days, a few days ago, was getting hit with uh, small quakes through Texas. A few years back, we were starting to see that, and it looked like it was following the pattern here of the old Craton plate. But when these quakes pick up, that's when we started to see action in Mexico. Mexico has been quiet for a long while. We've seen them run all the way up into Baja, down through here. Sometimes it's like a, a chain reaction when these quakes start to get set off. One fault line or plate could affect the next. And as we see here down at the Serpent Heads, when I see activity here, normally you'll start to see another quake hit somewhere here on this Atlantic Ridge, up into the North Atlantic Ridge, up into Iceland. But one thing I want to point out here in terms of, because we haven't had huge quakes in a long time, like big damaging quakes and it's good if quakes can hit and release pressure, not send out tsunamis, not do damage. But what we have incoming, I just want to make note of it on the heels of this, because when watching earthquakes and trying to find a correlation as to what causes it, throughout the years, one thing has been connected to earthquakes, and that has been the sun. Believe it or not, the sun's activity, incoming CMEs, solar storms, solar winds, energies that come in, and it seems like there have been many times where big quakes have hit during that time frame. So that was just one connection. Another connection is the fact that some of the biggest quakes throughout history have struck on a full moon, on the three-day window of the full moon. Granted, it's a different time and a different day on the other side of the planet right now, and you have to have a little bit of fluctuation with the incoming of of energies from the sun and um, really I always try to give a three-day window on any kind of area like this because y you just never know no one has a crystal ball and you don't know exactly where a big quake can hit all, all I can ever say is that if you're in an area prone to tsunamis or big quakes have a plan and it doesn't mean there's gonna be big quakes here but what I do see is two things. On the 10th, we have the CME coming in. And at the same time, we have a full moon on the 10th. So they align on that date. And the two together, known to be connected with earthquakes, is just something to pay attention to. As far as where, when, anyone's guess. But... We know some places see, see activity on a common basis. Uh, and you know, when I see areas that normally swarm, have a lot of activity, that go quiet, that's what catches my attention. Like right now with the Virgin Islands, 
when I've seen this in the past, we would see bigger quakes, four to five range, pop up here in the Caribbean, near Jamaica, Cuba. It's just those little odd things that catches the attention, the cycles, things I've seen in the past, and to know that this area swarms just like Southern California and it's gone quiet. Sometimes it's not all too telling if you have big swarms going on because it will run a lot of the quakes off the map. But this is holding 13 hours worth of information. Yesterday it was only 11. And in terms of active spots, I mean, the ring of fire is the ring of fire. Not only with the activity of earthquakes, but obviously volcanoes. And we've seen big quakes hit all through these regions. Of course, Japan... Still monitoring North Korea. If we see any mid-level quake register coming into North Korea, chances are it was an underground nuke test. And then we have the ones that always strike down here in the Indonesia area. Fours and fives making their way down toward New Zealand, which has been quiet. And when they get hit, they get hit with devastating ones because the plate runs right down through here near Christchurch. And it's been quiet for some time. But there's a look at some of the most recent earthquake activity. Just a heads up on the incoming energies aligned with that full moon, that little window. If I could make note of anything else, it's just uh, seeing some quietness in areas that I know in the past were normally active with some kind of earthquake activity, just really quiet, especially up and through here. But doesn't mean there's going to be a big quake. Doesn't mean there won't be. But it will be interesting to see how it shakes out. I'm going to keep track of the big quakes throughout the next few days just to see what happens during that window. So, I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7 with an earthquake update. Much love, y'all.